Today we're making two 20 minute meals. Subscribe to my channel for more easy, healthy, and budget friendly recipes. Last fall was extremely busy for me. I took on a few too many projects, so things got a little bit hectic. I'm sure many of you can relate, and if you're in a busy season of life, these recipes are for you. Mm. The first is a lamb curry soup. We're using ground lamb and frozen vegetables here to save time. I like to call this sort of a beginner's curry recipe. It's not a true curry. I didn't grow up with Indian spices and it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I actually had any type of Indian food for the first time. Now that I'm much more familiar with these different spices, I often will use actually twice as much of the seasoning in this recipe, but start with whatever makes sense for you and whoever you're feeding. First, we will dice one medium onion. I'm using yellow, but any will do. And then cube two sweet potatoes. I scrub my potatoes pretty well and keep the peel on since the peel contains a higher concentration of nutrients. You can remove it if you'd prefer. This should only take you a few minutes, but you can also use pre-chopped onions and sweet potatoes from the grocery store to save time. Warm a pot over medium high heat and add a little coconut oil. Once melted, add the onions and one pound of ground lamb and several pinches of salt. With such a short cook time, we wanna take advantage of the opportunity to build flavor anywhere we can. Cook this, breaking up the lamb and stirring as needed until the lamb is mostly browned, then add the spices. We're using this yellow curry blend, some turmeric, some cayenne for a little bit of heat, and black pepper, of course, and cook for another 30 to 60 seconds. Next, add in the sweet potatoes and the broth and bring that to a simmer. Simmer for about eight to 10 minutes or until the sweet potato can be easily pierced with a fork. Once the sweet potatoes are tender, we're going to add the coconut milk, riced cauliflower, and greens. I'm using some fresh pre-washed spinach today. I'll give that a stir to try and bury the spinach, and then we're adding the apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar brings a much needed acidity to this dish, which is otherwise somewhat rich, so I wouldn't skip it if you can. Cover this and cook about five minutes or until the vegetables are wilted and warm. This soup is fragrant and flavorful, and it comes together so quickly. I like to serve it with a little extra black pepper and some cilantro as a garnish. Feel free to add some rice, naan, or finish it off with some fresh lime juice if you've got it. We most commonly do eat this by itself because like I said, it's sort of a busy weeknight meal, but if you've got something else on hand to pair it with, even better. Mm. It's just so simple. It's so tasty. And although this is a quick 20 minute recipe, most soups, stews, and curries do just get better as the days go on. So this is one I also like to use for meal prep if maybe I'm gonna cook it on the weekend and enjoy it later in the week. It tastes even better. And that's it for this recipe. So simple. Okay, so for our second recipe, I might be making things even easier. There's not even a cutting board required. It's so fast, so tasty. We're making this delicious cabbage crunch salad and we're adding vermicelli rice noodles and topping it with these super simple chicken breasts. So first let's start with the protein. This chicken recipe is based on the Idiot Proof Chicken by Serena Wolf. I've made this in some of my meal plan videos as well, so you may have seen this before. To get started, first season your chicken breasts with salt and pepper. I like to season the first side on the plate and then I'll season the other side once I add it to the pan. Heat a skillet over medium high heat, add a drizzle of oil and swirl that around. Then add the chicken breasts one at a time. I have skin on chicken breasts here cause that's just how they sell them at my grocery store. So I'm just going to put them skin side down. You wanna place them down carefully and cook them for just one minute on this first side. And for this meal, I'm also gonna add just a little drizzle of tamari here to add a little extra flavor since we're not gonna have time to marinate this chicken. After one minute, flip the chicken over and reduce the heat to low. Cover the pan and cook this undisturbed, undisturbed over low heat for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove it from the heat and let it rest covered to finish cooking. So technically this is a 20 minute recipe in and of itself. One minute on the first side, 10 minutes covered on the heat, 10 minutes covered off the heat. Well, I guess that's a 21 minute recipe. But I found that if you use slightly smaller chicken breasts, then you can prepare this in 15 or 16 minutes instead. 
So a five minute rest in the covered pan is long enough to fully cook the chicken. I always use a meat thermometer, but these come out fully cooked every single time. You do wanna make sure you're using a timer here because that's really how this recipe works. On to the rest of the recipe. While the chicken is cooking, we're going to make my colorful cabbage crunch salad, but we're not gonna chop up any vegetables. I found these bags of mixed cabbage with purple and green cabbage and carrots, which are the same vegetables that I use in this recipe, so we're gonna use this instead. These types of coleslaw mixes are common in a lot of grocery stores and are great time savers. So we'll make the dressing first. We're gonna make it in this large bowl, grate some ginger and some garlic, then combine that with the remaining sauce ingredients. We're using rice vinegar, soy sauce or tamari, sesame oil, honey, and lime juice. You wanna whisk this well to combine. Then we're just gonna add the shredded cabbage and toss this to combine. The more you toss it, the more massaged it will get, which is how I like it. For the topping, since I didn't wanna to have to chop anything, we're gonna crush the cashews between our fingers and we're gonna cut our green onions with scissors today. Like I said, no cutting board. And for the carb component of this meal, we're using vermicelli rice noodles. These are amazing in salads and only take a few minutes to prepare. I have these brown rice vermicelli that take about three minutes to rehydrate. Add the noodles to a wide dish and then cover with boiling water to rehydrate them. Drain the noodles and then gently toss them with just a touch of sesame oil so they don't stick together. When it's serving time, combine the noodles with a portion of the cabbage salad in your serving bowls. I wouldn't really toss together more than you plan to eat because the noodles might get a bit soggy. Add some of the chicken and top with more cashews and sliced green onion. And that's it for recipe number two. Very, very, very simple. We're getting lots and lots of flavor from that amazing salad dressing. We've got a super simple cooked mm. protein, some carbs in the form of these really fast noodles, and tons of colors and vegetables from the cabbage slaw. I like it. I hope that you enjoyed these two recipes and I hope you get a chance to make them. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and I'd love for you to also subscribe, share this video with anyone who you think might like it, like the video below, you know what to do. Thanks as always for being here and I'll see you in the next video. This chicken recipe, this is a chicken, no, oh no. <laughs> Once you start laughing, sometimes it's hard to stop. Okay. Zach. What do you want? Yes. Bye, Zach. Love you. Love you too.